Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More standing outside one of our properties at the compound. Uh, this is a property that we've done many videos of, if you follow my channel. Uh, it has three houses, a commercial property, and um, there's another house back there. We bought this for $410,000 the end of 2019. It was all rented uh, for way below market value. And then um, we've been slowly uh, removing tenants. We offer some cash for keys. Had to do an eviction over there and then now we are fixing up the properties and we plan to re-rent them again so this one is getting really close so this one looks so much better already we'll show you this one and then the one over there by the fun car friday supra uh it's making slower progress and i may actually start doing videos slightly ahead of time instead of the day i post them so this might not actually be posted on friday even though it is fun car friday for me um this house is a one bedroom, was really rough before, and we have before videos of all these properties that I'll link to before. So you can kind of see what they're like when we first got them and what the entire property was like when we first got it as well. And of course, check out investormore.com. Have a lot more information on our flips, rentals, being an agent, all of that good stuff. And if you go to um, our site, we do have a free book that goes over real estate basics and how I built up my portfolio and lots of other different things. So be sure to check that out. So this room in here was kind of a porch, had more windows. Uh, as you can see, we replaced most of those windows. The paint is mostly done. Um, the electrical was already updated in this one, which was nice. Flooring, this is a very affordable rental property. So um, we're gonna be asking from $1,000 to $1,200 for each of these properties which is the absolute cheapest you can get a detached home in our area. So they don't have to be amazing properties, but at the same time, we also want them to be nice. We want them to be attracted or the good tenants to be attracted to them. So you can see we did new flooring, painted. Uh, this furnace before was just sitting right out here in the living room. So we added a closet right here, so it's actually enclosed. And then we're going to be moving the water heater right in there as well, which was in the kitchen before. And we will show you that kitchen here soon. So now the furnace is not being, you know, right next to your couch. This is the one bedroom. So this is your, your master suite. Oh, that window's cracked. Um, does have a closet, so that's great. But as I said, this is not a big house. This is a very small house. And um, we're making it nice, but not going too crazy with anything. All right. So in here is the beautiful part of the house. I'm going to keep showing you the wall to build the suspense. Here we go. Voila. There's the new kitchen. If you saw the old kitchen, this looks amazing. So uh, the old kitchen was just a couple of cabinets, and it did have a... I think I just a washer out here. What we did is we, we reconfigured it. The water heater was in that corner before. So we're moving that, as I said. Over here, we're gonna have a stand-up stackable washer and dryer. Your sink will be right there. There's room for a dishwasher right there, a stove right there, your fridge right there. So you've got all your cabinets against that wall. Just ignored that weird little thing right there. I don't know if we have another cabinet coming or if it's just gonna look like that, but either way, I'm okay with it. And then if you want space for a little table, then you can put it, you know, right over there, a little table against the wall. But again, it's a one bedroom house, not a huge house. So it is not going to have a fancy formal dining room. Here is the bathroom, the other gem of this property. So uh, we'll still need some plumbing done here, as you can see. Uh, this shower will need completely redone still. And the toilet will need to be put back in. And yes, this is the bathroom where I am Let's see, if I stand up straight all the way on this side, my head kind of touches the ceiling. I'm about 6'1". So it slowly slopes down that direction. So it's, you definitely have to hunch over, but you know, if you're vertically challenged, it's a great bathroom for you. All right, so that is this house making progress. We'll show you the other one and how much progress it has made. I had to get a, a video of the train coming by to showcase the amazing location of this property as well.
really doesn't come by that often. And you get used to it. I used to live by train tracks right out of college. And eventually you do get used to it. Except for the jerk train drivers who like soup up their train horn and blast it all night long at 4 a.m. in the morning all the way through town. Those guys aren't very cool. All right, it's rare that I show you the inside of a dumpster, but there's a really good reason for it. So, like I said, we're at the compound. Uh, lots of people decide to dump stuff here, including tires and all kinds of junk. But today is nothing new. We got a burned house in our dumpster or garage or shed or something. But I mean, you can see the roof peak right there, the shingles. So um, I don't know if this is a shed, a house, a garage, but somebody decided this dumpster was the best place to put all of their burned wood. So that is a first for me and um, something you deal with when flipping houses and have dumpsters uh, open to the public. All right, so we just saw the progress of that house over there. And by the way, we are going to paint the outside of these houses too. They're not going to look like this ugly bland color. So we're gonna look at the progress of this house too. Now we have two different contractors working on these. So that's actually um, Jared over there. He's been awesome. Great worker for us for a number of years. Eric is over here doing this one there. They don't work together. They get paid different, um, have different crews. So they get along, but uh, kind of interesting having two different crews on the same property. So here, you can see our progress. Although, I don't want to throw Eric under the bus because he is waiting on the plumber to fix a drain issue, so he couldn't do a ton of work in here, but they still do have a lot to do. Now, this is something we haven't done in years and years and years and years, but um, I think Nikki told them to get the uh, in-stock cabinets from Home Depot, and they got the oak cabinets. We almost always get the uh, white or the unpainted and then we paint them ourselves but um, we got the oak this time which normally I'd be like oh really oak but in this house it'll be one of the cheapest rentals around here it's okay they'll work they'll be nice they'll be new and honestly most people probably won't care that much as far as tenants go and interestingly enough all of these cabinets were here but then I got a text from someone who lives two blocks away that direction and said, hey, we have a package from Home Depot for you. I'm like, what, really? So somehow they found my name on there and found our number. Maybe my number is on there. I don't know, but anyway, um, if you do call me, I won't answer. So if you have my number, good luck, but it won't do you any good. Um, anyway, so this one cabinet was two blocks away. All the rest of the cabinets were delivered here. So they must have had like their runner deliver just one extra cabinet and he took it to the wrong house and the regular Home Depot driver took all the stuff to the right house. So there you go. But as I said, um, you know, there's still quite a bit to do here with paint, the kitchen, and then that's the drain. I've showed that before where it drains outside. So we're waiting on the plumber to come over, fix that before we put the kitchen back together, before we put the bathroom back together and do those things. And our plumber, Brennan, who's also amazing, has been dealing with our river house uh, plumbing issues which I'm sure he's really happy about right now, but that place was a mess with plumbing. And then we decided to move a bathroom and move the kitchen and do all kinds of other stuff. So a lot of work being done there. So there's the two houses from the compound. The third one, which is all the way, see if you can see it, yep, over there. We're waiting to work on that one until these two are done. Maybe we'll get these rented and then we'll start working on that one. But we have literally had probably five to 10 people stop by here asking to rent these places already. There's no for rent sign. There's no real estate sign anywhere, nothing. Just simply the contractors working on it. So um, I don't know if they just think they're gonna be super duper cheap or what, but uh, it is a popular property so far. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the subscribers, the follows, the comments, the likes, keep those coming. If you have any questions, leave them here. We'll do our best to answer them. And of course, check out Invest for More for more information, like I said before, on our flips, rentals, being an agent, all that good stuff. And we do have nine books on Amazon as well with much more in-depth information. And I'll be sure to leave the before videos below if you wanna see more videos. We'll have those in the description below as well. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.